Okay, so for this next video lecture, so our topic is about uh, the, the next types of audit. So this time we will be uh, discussing about government audit. So government audit involves the de determination of whether the government funds are being handled properly and in compliance with the existing laws, rules, and regulations, and whether their programs projects and activities are being conducted efficiently and economically okay so basically we are talking about uh, the audit of the government agencies which are done by COWA or commission on audit okay so this often extends beyond the examinations leading to the expression of an opinion in the fairness of their fs and this it will include audits of efficiency, effectiveness, and compliance. So this is a more a broad type of audit because in this case, they do not only uh, consider their financial statements, but also will audit efficiency, effectiveness, and compliance, especially when using the government funds. Okay, So government audit is currently referred to as public sector audit which is described as the systematic process of objectively um, obtaining and evaluating evidence to determine whether the information or actual condition conform with the established criteria so an example of that is uh, the government funds for example in field health and other government agencies which are now the hot topic okay in the field of uh, uh, auditing so they they are under COA. so there are if you have seen in the news there have been um reports from COA that states that there are some funds which were were used uh to the different um programs or they did not followed what, sh what is being budgeted okay, for that particular fund and so on. Okay, this is an example of government audit. So, government audit is necessary because it provides legislative and oversight bodies to those charged with governance and the general public with the information and independent and objective assessment concerning the stewardship and performance of the government policies, programs, and operations. So this is very important because in, in the case of the government, the fund are coming from mostly from the taxes. Um, in our uh, case, uh, at the moment, some of the funds were donated. Okay, so basically, there has uh, some regulations and projects which this funds intends to be used okay so the the auditor in the government should make sure that the agencies who received this funding really did uh, spend those fund with the appropriate program which it is intended to okay so in order to promote credibility quality and professionalism of the public sector auditing so the supreme audit institutions must comply with the international standards of supreme audit institutions developed by international organization of supreme audit institutions but uh, in in our case in the philippines we have the government accounting okay and uh, they also use um, especially those which has uh, some contracts and regulations related to the funds and how it should be spent. Okay, so there are three main types of public sector audit. So the first type is financial audit. So of course, this will focus on determining whether the audit or whether the entity's financial information is presented in accordance with the applicable financial reporting or regulatory framework for government agencies. 
So again, we have government accounting manuals that is being used in preparing their books. So this is uh, quite different from that of the uh, accounting in the private sector. However, there are uh, major uh, similarities. Okay, But uh, the difference may be in terms of their account titles, um, how they will account a certain um, transaction, and so on. Okay, so this is the, the differences that we can note from or between the government and the private sector accounting framework. So another type of public audit is or public sector audit is the performance audit. So this focus on whether the government undertakings, the systems, operations, programs, and activities of the organization are operating in accordance with the principles of economy, efficiency, effectiveness, or whether there is room for improvement. Okay, so this is somewhat the same as what we have discussed under the performance audit as well. Okay, another is compliance audit. So this focus on whether the particular subject matter complies with the criteria as determined by the applicable authorities. So basically, under the government uh, agencies, they are following certain uh, Republic Act laws. Okay, so the auditor will determine if they did comply with such uh, regulations. So those are for the government audit. So the next type of audit is forensic audit. Okay, so a forensic audit will examine and evaluate a firm or the individual's financial records to derive evidence used in a court of law or legal proceedings. So forensic auditing is a specialized I mean this is a specialization within accounting and most large accounting firms have a forensic auditing department. So when we say forensic auditing or audit, this is especially performed to examine the firm's or even the individual's financial records and to gather evidence which will be used for court cases or legal proceedings. This will be used as evidence for any lawsuits related to financial accounting or finance. Okay? So that's how their report is being used under forensic auditing. So forensic audits also require accounting and auditing procedures and expert knowledge about the legal framework of such audit. So that is why this is considered to be a specialized type of audit. So forensic audits cover a wide range of investigation activities. So it often uh, conducted to prosecute a party because there may be fraud, embezzlement, or other financial crimes. Okay, so that's how financial audit is, or forensic audit, I mean. So, in the process of a forensic audit, the auditor will be called to serve as an expert so he will serve as an uh, he will also serve as a witness okay during the trial proceedings so whatever uh, evidence and procedures that may he may have uh, performed so that is what he will present in the court as evidence so he will be uh, a, considered to be a witness expert witness okay forensic audits could also involve situations that do not include financial fraud so, such as disputes related to bankruptcy, uh, business closures, and even divorces. Okay, so that's how forensic audit is. So, we will proceed with the next type of audit. Okay, so this is a quality 
audit. Okay, so when we say quality audit, this refers to a systematic examination of a quality system that is carried out by an internal or external quality auditor or audit team. So this is an important part of the organization's quality management system So because this is a key element in the International Organization for Standardization or ISO. So it focuses on the quality system standard, meaning uh, if you have ISO um, certification, basically you should do quality audit, meaning uh, regularly you should check whether uh, you conform with the rules and regulations, the procedures that you have established for your organization. And aside from following those, um, quality audits also will determine if you are efficient and effective in the performance of such as well. Okay? So, quality audits are typically performed at pretty predefined time intervals so regularly depending on the schedule it may be uh, once a year twice a year okay and so on and uh, to ensure that the institution has clearly defined their internal system monitoring procedures that is linked to effective action because in this case we are talking about quality system so this audit can help determine if the organization also complies with the defined quality system processes and can also involve procedural or results-based assessment criteria. So an example of this is what we are undergoing in our institution right now. So we have the ISO uh, internal audit. Okay, so uh, each department of the organization is being uh, evaluated to determine if we really followed what is uh, written in our manuals or in our procedures, how do we conduct our operations, what are the documents that can be used as evidence that we really did okay, such uh, actions. Okay, so that's how quality audit is done. Okay, so the next type of audit is social audit. Okay, so a social audit is a formal review of a company's endeavors, procedures, and code of conduct regarding social responsibility and the company's impact on the society. So a social audit is an essential assessment of how well the company is achieving its goals or benchmarks for social responsibility. So basically, under social audit, uh, the, aud the auditor will focus on the corporate social responsibility of an entity whether they follow okay, what they have established as their goals and objectives. So in the era of corporate social responsibility, corporations are often expected to deliver value to customers and shareholders as well as meet the environmental and social standards. So this is now the new trend in the field of business where the entity should not only satisfy the objectives of their um, owners and the entity themselves, but also the environment and the society. Okay, that's why we have corporate social responsibility. So social audits can help companies create, improve, and maintain a positive public relations image. So for many com companies, a good public perception helps them foster a positive image of their company and ultimately reduce negative impacts on earnings from bad press. Okay, so that's why companies nowadays are uh, not only advertising their products but also um, advertising their social corporate uh activities such as helping their employees the community partner partnering with them as their suppliers helping the farmers and the like okay 
So that's how they do their social responsibility. So again, the auditor here are concerned whether they really did follow okay what they have stated in their corporate social responsibility objectives. So that would be for this video lecture.